Hey everybody, my IED students, this is Mr. Holsey. Um, I'm giving you a how-to video of how to upload um, all of your pictures of your notebook check. Now, today is November the 8th, and so it's almost time for the notebook check number two, which means this one is just extra credit if you submit it as a um, Google Doc. Hopefully in the future we'll be able to actually make this a thing if it works out well, and then we can continue to submit assignments this way in the future. But um, for now, it's just a test, so it's extra credit, 10 points extra credit towards your notebook check grade, which is a quiz grade, 30% grade, um, if you turn it in via Google Docs. So I've got um, to, to the left of where my face is, I've got um, a, uh, a video of my phone, my phone screen, uh, a live, live updating video here, video feed of that. Um, and then to the left of that, I've got uh, my Google Chrome pulled up with Schoology. So this, I'm just uh, viewing it as Igor, a great guy. He's the first on, <laughs> on my list alphabetically, but I'm viewing it as um, a student here. So this is basically what you should see. Uh, I am logged in as me on Google. So this daily agenda might look a little different. Um, but this is the main difference here. This outline uh, is kind of showing up on even my daily agenda because that's how it is on my um, on my Google for, on my Google account. I'm I'm viewing as an outline. See view as a show document uh, jo document outline. And that's what I really like. It actually might help with the um, daily agenda too because you can see all the lessons. It turns out they turn out to be headers of different sections, but uh, it's really going to help with the, um, I'm sorry, I can figure that out. It's really going to help with the uh, notebook check. So under unit three, under quizzes and notebook checks, these are my 30% quiz grades, engineering notebook check two, you open this assignment, it's going to look a little bit different from the other assignments you've seen because I've linked a Google Doc um, assignment to it. So it's really similar to Google Classroom, where I have given you a template, you click this template and open it, and then it creates a copy in Google Docs of this template that you can edit, and then um, submit back in to me on this um, submissions. I'm not exactly sure what you'll see, because whenever I um, open this up, it shows up, it opens this template, and you know, like I said, I'm signed in to my own account here. So I'm viewing this as myself, whereas in Schoology, I'm viewing it as Igor. Um, so I'm, like I said, I'm not exactly sure what you guys will see when you see this document, but it does create a copy and then you'll submit that back in here. Um, just follow the instructions and maybe in the future, I'll get you some more detailed instructions there. But here's the, um, here's the template. And like I said before, view, show document outline, and there's some hotkey instructions there. And then, oh, where'd it go? That kind of disappears on me whenever I pull that up. But uh, the outline here, I've got several different headers. Um, and I like seeing the unit one and cover material. And then hopefully you'll have unit two and unit three below. But these are um, different headers. Let's see, uh, right here, the headings, uh, heading formats. So this heading one is, let's see, this is the title, uh, subtitle, heading one, Heading two, and I think, uh, yeah, heading three I used for page numbers. Um, so I only have a few pages here. Oh, sorry about that. I only have a few pages here as examples, but you obviously put in as many pages as you have need to, however many pages you have content. So it looks like you guys are somewhere on 30 or 40 pages, so this might be. Uh, quite a bit of extra work. So I'll tell you how you change this document and upload it. If you go and click on the um, document and create your new copy from Schoology in Google Docs, then that should be a recent document for you. Now, if you use your phone or um, tablet or whatever, and like I said, um, I have a, I have a um, iPhone and you guys might have a different um, operating system here on your phone or a tablet, so it might be a little bit different, but I believe your Google Docs work will, Google Docs app will work essentially the same way. So here I have um, last opened by me, as long as you're signed into the same Google account, it should be 
should be offering you this document. So this is the same document, and as you can see, it popped up and said, hey, you're on here twice, uh, which is fine for now, um, because that's what I wanted. I have it open on my phone and on my computer. So um, I can go down and I can actually edit this document. The, the Google Docs app is not so bad. Um, I can do some pretty nice things here, but I can't do everything on the app. So I prefer doing it on the computer, um, but it's really easy to upload your photos through the app. And let me kind of show you as an example. Um, I have this binder here. Um, oh my bad, this binder, you can see it. I've got multiple angles. I feel just like a movie producer. Um, but I've got this binder that's just kind of, you know, junk from when I used to work at the daycare. Um, but this will be your Google, this will be your notebook, your engineering notebook. And I want you to take pictures as best you can of your cover and get all of the, the entire um, page or cover in this case inside the frame, taking up the whole frame. This is a good photo. If it's kind of angled, it's not so good. Um, if it is cut off by the frame, it's not so good. And really, I've got poor lighting right here, but this is a good place for me to record this video. I've got some pretty poor lighting, and you can see on the um, on the picture of this page inside here. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it in the frame really well. But if I go to my pictures and view it, it's it's kind of a little bit hard to see even. Um, so I don't I don't really like that. Um, it's going to cause me to have to do some extra work and zoom into that photo. So try to get some really good lighting on these photos. Um, but that's essentially what you do. Take a photo uh, of every page. And if you cut off anything, i.e. page numbers or titles or the stamp at the bottom, I can't grade that. I'm going to give you points off um, because I don't know if it's not in the picture or not in your notebook. It's the same to me. Not in your picture, not in your notebook. I'm still going to take points off. So take photos of all of these uh, pages. Like I said, this is junk as an example, but you're going to have photos of all of your um, all of your pages of your notebook. So hopefully it'll be a little easier. Now, there are a couple of different ways I found out you can upload your photos really easily. One, doing it directly through the Docs app. Two, doing it through a drive folder and then uploading those to the docs, uh, to your Google Doc on your computer. I'm going to show you both. So first, I'll show you in the docs app. If you go in here, um, I guess you can't really see where my thumb is, but uh, you can see where my cursor is at least. Replace this text with your correct photo. You can delete that text pretty easily. But up here, that plus up at the top of the screen insert is insert um, so I can scroll down to image um, and I can do either I could do from photos which is which are the photos that I just took or I could do um, from camera or what did it say I could do yeah from photos or from camera so I could take the pictures as I go but I think you'll have to click on this uh, that click chain every single time you're out of photo oh, flash my be helpful. I'm not sure about that. You'll kind of have to play around with it. Yeah, so then I'll upload, that'll upload a photo, and then unfortunately it'll make you uh, click on that image from camera every time. So that's not going to be efficient. You're going to waste a lot of time that way. I would take all your pictures, then upload from photos uh, here. So really whichever one works best for you. So I accidentally put this into page one and then page two, but you're going to know how to do it a little bit better. So like I said, you can put them directly into the Google um, into the Google Docs app uh, one by one like this um, directly into the app. Okay, option two is uh, putting them all into a drive folder. I created a drive folder. You can see this is my IED folder and I created a subfolder called engineering notebook. Um, and I uploaded some junk photos earlier when I was, play, when I was playing around with it. Uh, and you can upload straight from your camera like this as well, one by one. Or you can upload, and this is what I found to be easier, after you've taken all of your photos, you can bam, 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 select a whole bunch of them, and then upload them that way. 
And uh, you got to be careful. I believe if you upload a whole bunch of photos at once, maybe 30 or 40 like you might be doing. Oops, I don't want to turn it. Uh, if you do that, it might not be able to do the complete the entire job, especially on LTE. Definitely be connected to a Wi-Fi network. Um, but it, you can see it's taken a, quite some time to upload all these photos, and I don't want it to run out to time out in the middle of your job. So I would upload your photos bit by bit, maybe five or ten at a time. Okay, all pending uploads have been completed. That's great. Now I've got a bunch of photos in this folder, um, and now I'm going to want to. Go back to my computer where I have the um, Google Doc open, and you can see it has uh, changed my doc to where, yeah, it takes a little bit to, um, to load up these photos here, but yeah, my photos that I uploaded are good. Um, I would prefer if you could somehow make this page number be on the same page as, as this actual image. So you might have to scale it down a little bit so that it looks nice, you know, page two and then the image directly right there. Um, and then this one too, it would be page one and then the image directly right there. Um, yeah, and again, replace text with the, current, with the correct photo. I can get rid of that. Oh, I don't wanna get rid of the page two heading though. So there we go, I changed it a little bit. Um, so I would prefer it to take up one page of your doc for each photo. Um, now, uh, the easier way to do this, I found in my opinion, is to go to insert image, and you can do it straight from drive, here you go. So you can upload from computer, you can fiddle around with it and figure out different ways, email it to yourself, um, but I think the most efficient will probably be to upload straight from drive, and bam, I actually navigated to earlier, I navigated to this folder that I've got, IED, is your notebook. And so now once you're in this folder, um, you've got all these pictures and I, I'm not sure if it reverses the order. It looks like it might, because this was the, my cover from earlier. Um, but that shouldn't be a problem if you could tell what's in your content. So bam, I've got it right in there. And uh, it's kind of hard to see with my, um, with my Google Chrome off on one side of my screen, but if I've got it on the full screen like this, yeah, I've got it on the full screen, this is a, a bit easier to read here. Um, so what happened? Uh, that's what I had before. Um, I want page six to be right, this image right here, bam, it's in there, um, but it's a little bit too big for the page, so I might have to rescale every page just a little bit, page six. And you might want to go in here and just say uh, page seven, make sure you're in the right heading, uh, heading three for the pages, uh, page eight. Maybe you could go in and type in all your page numbers, find an efficient way of doing this, and then let's see if this will work. Um, kind of experimenting like you guys will. Heading three, great. Now these are all headings and you can see them all on the um, on the outline here. And then of course, if you have a new entry, Instant Challenge Cable Car is the first one. I don't think it takes up, you know, five pages, 11 pages, but uh, just in case it does, here's an idea of what I wanted. Um, page 11, I'm gonna highlight that and change that to heading three. Okay, now you can see on my outline, it looks really beautiful. Uh, and then, I, of course, I changed my Instant Challenge Cable Car name to, um, I forgot what was right after that. I think it was the Instant Challenge Paratrooper. So whatever the title of that entry is, you'll see it pop up, you know, one, Instant Challenge Cable Car, Instant Challenge Paratrooper, and, the, and then the pages. So if I want to insert page seven, I've got it right here on the side. Bam. And then again, I might have to rescale it a little bit so it fits on that page. Beautiful, page seven, and my page seven is right there. Uh, hmm, that's pretty interesting. I don't know why I have two page sevens. Let's see if I can figure that out. Challenge for you. Um, and then I wanted to do, let's see, was that the one with that picture there? Yep, so I wanted to do page eight, bam, right there, and I'll resize it just a little bit, bam. So page eight is on one page, page seven is on, now I'm rocking. Page nine, uh, I put this one in, bam. Resize it a little bit. Oh, yeah, and you can see how this hmm, That's weird that it uh, didn't 
And if I hit enter, there we go, page nine, and then that. So you can see how this will go real fast once you once you get uh, into the swing of things. And uh, size this a little bit. Get my words come up on that page. There we go, bam. So maybe you can go back and resize at the end. Um, but I think this will be a, a pretty good workflow. Here's just a junk image. Resize it here. Uh, so hopefully this won't be too, too much work. And if it is, you know, you get the 10 extra points and then uh, we can kind of abandon this, this pet project of mine. So we'll see how it works. Um, but this is basically how you do it. Thanks a lot. Let me know if you have any questions.